I'm an American citizen and I'm hoping for the G20 that uh, President Trump will call on Prime Minister Abe to give me a fair, to give my husband a but, fair trial. But I go back to the original question, why not ask President Macron? Because now I'm talking about me also seeing your husband. husband as a French national. Yes. Yes, I mean, I do. I'm also calling on President Macron, which I have in the past and I am today. And Carlos is also Brazilian, so also President Bolsonaro. I hope they're all going to be at the G20. I hope they will talk to, uh, to Prime Minister Abe. Some you know? of the conditions that you describe here, he was in isolation, wasn't getting enough food, there was no heat. Exactly. And uh, the, the lights were on 24-7. He showered twice a week. It was a system. It's made to break the person so they confess to a crime, even to crimes they haven't done. It's called the hostess justice. Now Japan is known for that. And you believe they wanted him to confess so that he would relinquish any and all control over Renault, but principally Nissan? Uh, yes, I mean, they wanted to get rid of him, so by making him look guilty, it's, you know, that it, it justifies why they arrested him. The allegations are quite specific that they have made most recently, and that's that uh, there was a diversion of corporate funds for you personally, your family personally, and your husband personally. Do you dispute that there's any evidence there of that? I think they've twisted the truth because they needed an excuse to put him in, in, in detention. And it's all lies. And, uh, and I think with time, the truth will come out. But he has to get a chance to a fair trial so he proves himself. And yet you don't believe there can be a fair trial, right? I don't think so. Even our lawyers in Japan, our Japanese, are, are not confident because their system is rigged. You know, those are, are, are quite explosive allegations uh, in terms of the fact that Japan is looking at this as a corporate dispute, that your husband did not follow the rules when it came to corporate funds and that dividing line, that blurred line between corporate funds and personal funds. You know, we haven't seen any of the evidence. It's been seven months since he's been arrested, and we have not seen any documents against my husband. We haven't seen anything. You know, they just keep on accusing us, and we haven't seen a thing. He was re-arrested in April. What was that like? It was a nightmare. At 5.50 in the morning, they barge in on us. And first of all, they call the, um, all the journalists were downstairs to make a show out of it to embarrass my husband more. And uh, they walked in and they made him get dressed and they took him away. And then I was left for hours. They searched a 50 square meter apartment. They searched everything. And I was in my pajamas, so I asked to, to change my clothes and I wanted to shower and get dressed. The, the prosecutor, the lady prosecutor, went into the shower with me and handed me my towel. And every time I needed to use the bathroom, she would go into the toilet with me. So, I mean, it's just how much more do they want to humiliate us? And then they took my passport, which is illegal to take a passport. I'm not under arrest. I'm not a suspect. What is it? Forms of intimidation? Is this how, you know, the democracy in Japan works? Why do you think in the end that it came to this, though? Why do you think we're at this point with this dispute? Because it obviously seems to be incredibly complicated involving Nissan and Renault and the Japanese government. I, I think it's, it's... My husband was collateral damage to a bigger story. I think Nissan and Renault did not want to merge. My husband wanted to merge them. And they thought the best way of doing it is getting rid of my husband. Why do you think your husband is not getting more help from Renault, but I would say principally the French government? I know that you have asked President Trump to try and do what he can intervene, but why not the French government? Because the French government has interest in Nissan. They want to merge. So, you know, they threw my husband under the bus for the merger. To them, that was more important than my husband, unfortunately. So Again, I say it's collateral damage. So you're saying that the French government and the Japanese government are both complicit? No, I don't think the French government was complicit. The Japanese government was complicit at the beginning. Parts of it, not all of it. But then why wouldn't President Macron at this point get involved and say this is a corporate issue and at least say, show us the evidence, let's have you know, a... No, I, I wish I knew the answer, you know? But what do you think the answer is? Have you spoken to French officials? I've, I've spoken, they said they're doing everything they can, that it's, you know, it needs time because there's diplomacy involved and there's a way to do things and that we have to be patient. 
it must be pretty hard to be patient right now. It's, it's devastating. You know, our lives have turned upside down. Nothing makes sense. And, um, and, and, and we see no end in sight. Now, I know you've told me that you can't see him. You're not in Japan. Uh, what is his health like? How do you communicate with him? How, how is he doing? I don't communicate with him. One of the bail conditions when he came out the second time, they forbid him from seeing his wife. Um, I mean, I've never heard of that. It's outrageous. Even by Japanese standards, this is outrageous. So I have no communications with him. I, I ask about him through his children, but they just want to punish him more. They want to break him more by him not seeing his wife. But what do you know about his health right he's, now? What have you heard? I mean, I heard that he's combative because this is Carlos. Uh -huh. He's a strong man. But, uh, I mean, if you spent 130 days in solitary confinement, he's tired and, uh, I mean, he's depressed, of course. But, uh, I mean, that's all that I know. How do you see this being resolved at this point? You know, I, I hope... This, you know, that my husband will get a fair trial because I think with a fair trial he'll be e able to prove his innocence. Um, I hope they will respect the presumption of innocence in Japan. Um, and I hope I'll get to see him and be there by him, his side and take care of him at a time where he needs the, me the most and I need him. And, and they separated us. Now, CNN has reached out to the French Finance Ministry and Justice Ministry. They did not offer comment. Japan, Japan's METI uh, said, we have yet to be aware of Miss Carol Gohn's comments. However, if she claims that the Ministry of Economy, Industry and Trade is involved in the arrest of Mr. Gohn, it is groundless.